to be a passenger line. Okay. So, let me know when you can hear me already? Uh-huh, I can hear Wow, you. that's good. That was pretty quick, right? Yes. Okay, so Karen and I are here. Hi, Karen. I'm sorry. I said Karen, I thought you could hear me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, there's a bit of a delay. Right, right, okay. Uh -huh. Karen is here. Hi, everybody. Okay, and uh, as I said, I did this drawing of my son Jason um, during the week, and I said I would like to... Uh, paint that in gouache so I transferred the sketch now this is just about the same um, reference it's just a little bit of a, a difference I don't know if it means all that much it's just about pretty much the same thing now I gotta squeeze some more paint onto my palette um, so let me go ahead and do that uh, before I go ahead and get started here uh, and it's always nicer to use the fresh paint. Because, uh, I just want to put a few of the colors that I normally use to make sure I have enough of everything. This is cerulean blue. Oh, this is acrylic gouache. Uh, this is not good. Just a little bit of ultramarine blue left. I got my more ultramarine blue. And to me, this is an important color. And so I think that's all I can squeeze out of this tube. See, this, this tube is gone. All right. So hopefully I have another tube of, there's another one. And this one's got very little left too. To me, this is, I like ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue is like a, a, a warm blue. It has a bit of red in it. And it makes very nice purples. And it's very easy to go from cool to warm using ultramarine blue. So, hopefully everybody's doing good. I know that uh, schools are winding down, uh, at least here in the United States, because for the uh, Christmas holidays. Yeah, so, and then that would be the end of uh, the, uh, the semester also, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for, well, you know what, I'm thinking the schools um, in the South, they probably already had uh, started uh, their uh, winter break. Oh, okay. You know, and, uh, and schools here in the North, well, at least the Northeast, uh -huh. um, they're, they're going to uh, stop uh, Monday. Still, oh, okay, you're still putting paint. Yeah, I'm still putting yeah. out this paint. I'm squeezing, there's some tubes that are just like out of paint. I'm just squeezing every last bit <laughs> of paint because these are expensive, you know. Oh. Uh, these are, know. you know. And I see the tubes are small. Do they, yeah, they, they, do run, they come bigger or well, they really is, normally come that size? They normally come this size. This is acrylic gouache. So this is a different type of, it's actually acrylic. So I'm not using that. This is, this is a acrylic wash. Let me see, these are Turner. These usually come bigger. These are Utrecht. They come the same size as, this is M. Graham. This is uh, Holbein. Let me see, what else do I have here? 
This is also Holbein. And I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Now these are good. These are Da Vinci. They come in a good size and they're not very, very expensive. Oh, okay. Um, and, but I, 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 you know, you got to search around to find these paints so they're not always readily available. See, these are Da Vinci. These are decent paints. Um, but there's only one place I can go get it. And, um, you know, uh, sometimes. Oh, okay. I got a lot of ultramarine blue here. Oh, you didn't. Re oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm not out of this. That's a good thing. Uh, that's a good thing. There's certain colors that are important to me. Um, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, white, of course, titanium white, uh, vermilion, or or um, uh, sometimes I use uh, permanent belligerent crimson. You know, uh, so I yellow ochre, Naples yellow. Some colors are important to me. Oh, you know. Okay. And that's because that makes up the Zorn palette. Uh, no, no Zorn palette. No, that has it doesn't have. Zorn All palette is colors. different. Zorn okay. palette is just four palettes. Oh, four, four colors. colors. Four okay. colors. Yeah. Zorn palette is just black, red. Uh, I think black, vermilion, uh, black, uh, uh, ivory black. Vermilion and um, uh, I know there's a yellow, yellow ochre, ivory black, vermilion, yellow ochre, and white. That's it. That's okay. the Zorn palette. Okay. We have someone, Greg Zakorth Wheat. Greg Zakorth Wheat. Yeah. I think I'm saying it right. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. Uh, hello, Gil. Hello, Karen. Hey, well, hi. Girl. And where are you from? Okay, I'm getting... Oh, he has burnt number. I need burnt number. He has burnt sienna. Yeah, I'm going to have to go shopping in a little while. What is this? Gross. This is burnt number. This is Holbein. Okay, so that's it for me squeezing out colors. Oh, okay. So you got all your colors? I got all my colors. I got all the colors. Uh-huh. All the colors. Let me see. Well, let me put oh, he says he's from Poland. Okay, oh, okay. well, greetings from Poland. Yeah. So, how did you find out about the uh, paint and draw along? Well, yeah, the paint, yeah, the paint and draw along. Were you in YouTube or someone told you about it okay. or? Well, Tell here us we how. go. And I'm going to look for a good brush here. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, okay. So, I'm going to start with a bit of burnt umber and mm -hmm. ultramarine blue. Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue. That would be my dark. Oh, right? those are your dark colors? Those are my dark colors, yeah. Okay. Oh. Remember Greg Gores? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So are you hiding out under a different name or did yeah. you get in trouble with the police or something? <laughs> uh -huh. So he adds, do you use the Zorn palette? I do, but I'm not using it today. I'm working more from a full palette, um, which is what I'm used to, really. I... I play around with the Zorn palette. I think it's a great idea. But what I'm used to doing is working with the colors that I'm working with now and what I would call a full palette. Um, uh -huh. So you, you're you doing a full palette today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least with the colors that I use. I mean, uh -huh. 
that full, you commonly use. Right. That's what uh, you, okay. Yeah, because a full palette could mean different things for different people. For different people, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that question was from D Designs. D Designs? Yeah, okay. D Designs. You know, mm -hmm. do you use the Zorn? Oh, okay. Zorn palette. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact, when I, I taught a class, and I, I'm going to be teaching again in April uh, uh -huh. at Penn Studio School. One of the lessons was about the Zorn palette. Oh, that you did? You mean when you did the um, uh, class? Yeah, that's when what I did you talked. Uh -huh. You yeah. talked about it. Yeah. Well, we we uh, demonstrated. You know. Oh, okay. Demonstrated the class. You know, because the class is online, so most of the time is what you're doing is demonstrations. Uh -huh. You know. And so one of the class. We had, and you know, we would work on a uh, pretty much like what we're doing here. You just have a longer time to do it. Is uh, work on uh, the same reference, and I would demonstrate, and we would work together. And uh, so one of the one of the lessons was the Zorn palette. Uh huh. Okay. Well, Gregor's, I don't know why he said this. He said, I said, he's answered my question when I asked, how did you uh, uh, hear about us? Well, Gregor's, you've been with us for a while now. So he said, I set up a YouTube channel and checked how it's done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, we know you were with us for a while. So how are you doing? How are things in Poland? You know. Mm -hmm. So... So we got a knock on the door. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We have a delivery. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh, who's that for? I don't know. Uh -huh. He said you, right? Yeah. This is for our son. Which one? Yeah. This is the older. Oh, you ordered something, Josh? <laughs> I guess he did. <laughs> I guess he didn't remember he was expecting a delivery. Okay. So, Gregor says, it's always nice to see you under each name. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. about that package. Me too. I, I want to know, did he order or somebody gave, you know, got him something? It wasn't me. <laughs> so it wasn't you? No, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So, he ain't, he, he ain't, ain't talking. Tell us. <laughs> he ain't talking. was a surprise gift. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it is. But then who has your address? I don't know. Because if they give a surprise gift to somebody, they got to give something to everybody. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what, 
We said they give a surprise gift for one person. Yeah, they gotta give, they gotta give to everybody. How, how fair is that? <laughs> yeah, how fair is that? You know, just give the one person. Everybody just gotta watch them unopen the box. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, open the box up. You know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah. So, you know, uh, this picture you're doing today, it looked like he had just woke up. I mean. No, he didn't just wake up. He was looking down. Oh, okay. That was it? Yeah, I asked him to look down. Oh, okay. I took several shots. When I, whenever I take a, a reference photo, I don't just take one picture. I take several and, uh, you know, ask them to look down, turn left, turn right, and uh, try to control the lighting as well. Uh-huh. You know, so. Oh, wow. What's the matter? No, just, I feel hot. Oh, okay. Well, you just came in from outside. Yeah, and I was rushing to get back here on time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't usually do that, you know. By a certain time, I I set up and I stay here till the show. But um, I might have to run out. Okay. See, I'm looking at his hair, you know, those curly locks. I know, you love they, that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You this know. is a mom talking. Yeah, well, I, I think it's gorgeous anyway. You know, I don't think being his mom have anything to do with it. <laughs> you're biased in any way. You think I'm, <laughs> you think I'm biased? No, I don't know. Um, yeah. He is. He's a, he's a handsome, he's a handsome young man. Yeah. So. So, you're doing gouache today, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Definitely gouache. Okay. Yeah. So, let me ask you, in that bag, you have a, a mixture of paints? You know, do you have... Um, I'm, I'm thinking that some of the paints are for gouache and some of them are oil. Do they, no, they, oh, no. they don't put it in those tubes for oil? Yes, they do, but I oh. don't, those are not oil. The only thing I have there is gouache and acrylic gouache, and that's it. Oh, acrylic gouache. So what is the difference between gouache and acrylic gouache? Uh, acrylic gouache is really acrylics, but they, they dry like gouache, you oh. know, and you can work with, you can work in gouache with them, but it's not really gouache. You know, you can mix it with gouache, whatever, but it's really acrylic paint, mm -hmm. and um, it's okay. It it um, I prefer the gouache to it. Oh, okay. It's not you know. So not, there's really not much of a difference then. That's what it sounds like. Uh, the only diff the the main difference is that it is actually acrylic, so it's made from the same substance. It's not. Like gouache is 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 uh, um, is really watercolor with some other things added to it, 
to make it opaque. Um, acrylic is acrylic. It's made out of uh, kind of a plastic. Oh, okay. And um, and when it dries, that's it. You can't you know you can't re-wet it or anything like that. It just is dried. You know you can only paint on top of it. But whereas with um, gouache. Uh -huh. When it dries, you know, you can still wet the paint and keep working with it. So that is the main difference. Oh, you know, okay. Um, okay. So it just really depends on what you're looking for. Um, but it dries the same way. Acrylic have this like a kind of a, a matte finish when it dries. So it dries matte, you know, it, it's just kind of a, I don't know how to describe it. Beyond that is like a, a flat. Um, it dries flat and velvety, you know. Okay. Um, and uh, acrylics dry a different way, but acrylic gouache, with you know, it's designed to dry like um, the same look as gouache paint. Mm, okay. Maybe what you're going to do is uh, add more water as you paint, you know, his face. Because I'm thinking that that color, that tone is um, a little darker than, you know, than he actually looks. Um, how dark or light something is depends on what you put next to it. Okay. So, um... So it just it just depends, uh, you know. As I work on it, uh, you know, it's going to change. Okay. You know, some areas are going to become darker. Some areas are going to become lighter. Um, it just keeps changing, depending. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking, I, I, I got to call my girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, I had a dream about her and another friend of ours and, uh, you know, the three of us. Me, her, and um, another friend. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, it just... I, you know, I can't remember all. I don't know what it is. You have a dream, and then you don't... Well, I don't think you're that way. You can't remember all of the dream. You yeah, know? everybody's but that you way. But you, you think so? Everybody's that way, yeah. Uh-huh. But you, you know that you dreamed about the person. Yep. Yeah, but you can't remember all of it. Right. Yeah. And um, the dream was so uh, similar. We were playing tennis, and it was so similar to the uh, movie that I had seen, you know, oh. King Richard. And, um, you know, listen, um, you know, I, I know um, movies are international, you know. Um, it's not just in the United States, but, you know, uh, uh, people see the same movies outside of the United States too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, if anyone really was wondering about that movie, I, you know, I think I said it before, it's really a good movie. You really need to see it. 
you know, you know, it's so inspiring, you know, and, uh, yeah. Watched a good movie in a long time. Oh, okay. I I didn't go with her. It was just you and Dere. Yeah, that's see. my friend. Her name is Dere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't invited. Well, I mean, you know, it was a girls' night out. I mean, you know, we can't invite the boys. Well, <laughs> When this girl's dying Maybe Doree should get a husband. <laughs> Look, uh. it, she didn't call it couples night. She called it the girls night. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Yeah, it's it, it's coming along. such a full week I'm just, you know I, I am I'm so I'm tired yeah mm -hmm. it's a good tired though it's a good tired you said mm -hmm. yeah because it's tired it comes after a lot of work yeah So, oh, you know what? I didn't. Um, well, I guess the thing is right there. Uh, I, I'm just thinking. I didn't get to put that um, "buy me a cup of coffee" thing on here. Uh -huh. But you know, we were so in a rush to do uh, everything today. You know. Are you sure? Because I thought. Oh, okay. You see it up there, right? Yeah, I do. I see it to the left-hand corner. Oh, I wonder if it's clickable. Oh, okay. Because usually I put it in the message thing. Oh. Um. Include it there. But, uh, so if anybody wants to buy us a cup of coffee, I take mine's with, um, <laughs> with, uh, two splendor. No, three splendor and uh, three splendors, three splendors. Uh -huh. Yeah, I gotta watch, gotta watch the sugar. You gotta watch the sugar, okay. Uh -huh. So, Gregor's asked, Are you going to paint Karen? Uh, uh didn't I do that before? Yeah, I mean, he does, uh, he does usually, Gregor's, you know, he uh. He puts me up there. I wouldn't say a lot, but yeah. Well, at home I do. Well, yeah, that's true, you mm -hmm. know. I was just putting together, I, I bought these albums um, recently, right? Where I can put, you know, I, I, can, I can safely store my artwork. Um, because I, I, I have them in bins when I'm done with them. And um, uh, you know, so um, because we don't hang them, this is limited wall space, and uh, uh, 
so I put them in bins and then I decided let me buy these uh, these albums I can I can store the paints and keep them paintings and keep them safely there so I did that and uh, a lot of them are Karen mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and these young men my, my sons as well mm. yeah. Yeah, then a lot, a lot of them are of me too. Oh yeah, uh huh. A lot of self portraits. Self portraits, right? Mm. Uh huh. Uh It's nice to see you mixing uh, the paints. Oh, you, you can see the... Yeah, I see it. Um, and get an idea of uh, how you uh, use the color. The only thing is that we don't see uh, the individual, uh, the palette, you know, the individual color. Oh, okay. You know, we don't see the whole thing. Right. But yeah, but uh, we see you mixing uh, the paints together. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm. I'm just thinking, you know, this, well, both the kids, they, you know, love games. They love video games, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, th that was from young, you know, from when they were uh, young kids, little yeah. kids, I, little kids. I, I got to admit, I, I did introduce them to the video games oh, young, you, yeah. You did? Yeah, I did. I, I thought, you know, this is what the kids are into, and, you know, um, I also, I had them on my computer early on so that they can get used to being on the computer, you know? Oh, okay. Um, uh -huh. And uh, they, they, they really, they really uh, took, took it in. Uh-huh. They, okay. they took to it, yeah. They, yeah, they took to it, you know. And now they're taking courses you know, related to uh, computer, you know, computer, computer science, science, right? You yeah. know, and and um, I'm just thinking that, you know, that's that's a good uh, career to be in, I think, because you know what, there there's just so many things you could do, different things you could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's so many ways you can go with that. Uh huh. Um, any IT related thing too. Uh huh. You know, these days, you know, it's just it, there's a need, especially like security. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. So Gregor says. I, I, I'm trying to understand this. Okay, I'm curious what the voice looks like. <laughs> oh. And you got a smiley face. Uh, what you look like. Oh. See, they can hear your voice, but they, oh, okay. they can't see your face. Okay, okay. So they want the voice behind the face. Oh, I, mean, okay. the, I mean, the face behind the voice, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, Gregor, you're just going to have to imagine. <laughs> Well, you know what? When you see uh, one of the paintings of me, then then you'll know. But I, I thought you did one on your live draw thought. I'm sure. Yeah. So I think he's, uh, Greg Oz, I think he already had done one of me. You know, I, I, I would do so again. So at some point. Uh-huh. You know, um, yeah. Yeah. So, um. It says similar to you, similar to you. Well, um, you said, I think she's got her hair from Karen. No, it's a he. And um, uh, my hair is uh, uh, curled, you know, uh, tightly curled. And um, he, so his hair, uh, his, the curls he gets from me, the straightness of, the, of his hair he gets from his father. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My hair, you know, very good. My hair is kinky. So, my hair is more kinky. For some reason, I think that um, the the portrait we're doing now, this is the youngest son. You know, I I, I think that uh, he looked more like me when um, I was a baby. You know, so. Well, he's not a baby. Well, no, he. You know. I'm just saying, when he was a baby, well, his baby pictures. Yeah, well, when he was a baby, yeah, when he was younger, um, his baby pictures look similar to mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, I think anyway. Whoops, I just kicked the, the oh, thingy. Oh, you did? Yeah, I kicked the thingy. Let me see if I could straighten this out a little bit more. Oh, not that way, this way. Yeah, kind of. Now it's going to uh -huh. shake for a little while, but...
Too bad I can't display the whole palette. So, um, also want to remind everyone, I had an ebook out, uh, my latest um, sketchbook uh, is available on a number of platforms, Amazon uh, being one of them, and uh, it is uh, 250, 200, I'm sorry, 222 pages. 222. Two, two. 222 pages of artwork, paintings, drawings, some illustration work I did. Uh, so the links are below um, for that. That is so Jason. Oh, it looks like him? So I think, oh, okay, I'm trying to figure out some more.
Wow, you know what? The year. It's almost gone. It's almost, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It will be a new year. Wow. You know, it just, it does. It seems to go by so fast. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to when we were younger, and it felt like a whole year went by. Yeah, right. You know? Is it, is it now, that, our perspective, maybe? Well, it's you know what? It's just different, and I, I we don't know, weren't, what is it? We weren't, I think we weren't so much concerned with the time. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of, when you're young, you know... You're not really aware that your time is is finite. Okay. You know, and uh, when you get older, you're more aware of the the years going by. Mm -hmm. And I think that at least for me, that's the case. Okay. You know. I'm thinking some of the things I want to uh, do in, uh, in uh, 2022. And I don't, I don't think it's anything so unique. No, unique or different. I, I think for... I think each year I keep saying that I, I want to, you know what, I used to run track when I was in high mm. school, and um, and uh, when I had uh, uh, finished high school, I, I went to uh, college for a semester or two, uh -huh. and then I had, um, I had, I uh, ran track while I was in, in college for about a semester I didn't know or that. two. Huh? I didn't know you ran track in, track in college. Uh, no, I wasn't on the track team, you know. I just uh, would, me. you know, I would take a physical ed course, and I, you know, I would uh, run track. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, that was it. But I didn't run for a team. When I was in high school, I ran for a team. You know, I was on the track team. And um, I've always said I wanted to get back into that. And I would like to, you know, do uh, the marathon, uh -huh. you know, and, um, you know, I'm much older now, and um, I think my goal is just to finish it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, just to finish it, but, um, you know, I tell you, when you get older, you know, you think a certain way, and I say you know a lot, I, I know this, um, you think a certain way, and but uh, that's not where you are physically. You know? Yeah, because you know what, I I am fifty eight. I still, f I, I you know what, my mind says no. You're still twenty. My body says no. You're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's like I still feel like, you know. I still feel like I'm, I'm hey, I'm, I'm 20, I'm, you know, I feel the same way, mentally, not physically, uh -huh. you know, so it's a, it's, it's a funny feeling, you know? Yeah. And uh, so when I think of, you know, getting back to what I was saying, when I was thinking about 
some of the things I would like to see in 22. You know, I, I really, I really would. Um, see, I, 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 I don't know how to put this. I really would like to eat better. Yeah. I, re I really would. Because I want to, I want to feel better. Right. And I, I, I think a lot of feeling better is eating better, mm. you know. And I want to feel more energetic. Mm. And um, not so like, look, you're walking too fast. I could only go this fast, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, I felt that today while but we were outside. That was just and after you know, ate, so that might have had a lot to do with it. Yeah, but, uh, you know. Okay. Does anybody saying anything online, or? Oh, no, no one's chatting with us right now. I'm assuming that they're drawing. You know, it, it is, um, it is, um, hard to kind of chat and draw at the same time. It is. Mm. Okay. Uh-huh. Gregorius, he says, I talked to my grandparents. I have 44. Okay. Mm. Is he saying that he has uh, 44 years on him or... I guess so, because I don't think he has 44 grandparents. No, I didn't think he meant that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, when you get older, oh. Yeah. And, um, but I do think there are some people that really do take care of themselves. They really watch what they eat. They exercise. They stay active. You know, there are people that do that. And, um, yeah, I, I, I would, yeah, I would, I would like to do that. But I, I can't figure it out. Is it something I would like but not willing to do? See, I'm trying to figure it out. Well, it, it, the, the thing is, it takes work. Uh -huh. It takes work, you know, and it takes a commitment because you I know, think that's it. It takes a commitment. Yeah, because the thing is that um, and, I, and there, I did this was, earlier. I mean, I was active, yeah. you know. There was a point where I lost a lot of weight, you know. Mm -hmm. This was just before we got married, right? And um, I lost like seventy-five pounds. You know, in mm -hmm. uh, in a few months, and um, I remember the mindset. It was that you know what, if you're going to, you you know what, many people fail when they just diet. Because you diet, and then after you do what you you know after you lose what you wanted to lose, and you go right back to you know eating the same way. So someone had told me, well, listen, if you do this, it's not a diet. It is a life change. Right. You know, you're changing the way you're doing things. And if it's not a life change, then it's just going to be temporary. Uh-huh. Right. You know. So it, so, but that tells you the kind of commitment you need if you're going to do something. You know, um... I always thought, I know you used to watch the um, that program, The Biggest Loser. Uh-uh, no. You, you never watched it? I, I watched it uh, here and there. Okay. But it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't a, a, a show that I... Yeah. That I... I had to watch. Well, not had to watch, but... It wasn't a show that you had to watch, is what I was saying. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I watched it uh, sometime. You know, here and there, but not, not consistently. I guess that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Yeah, but I think you know, I that when you it watched it, you would agree with me that you know what, that's really no way to lose weight. It's extreme, you know. Well, it it isn't and something that you're going to wind up sticking to. 
Well, uh, let me tell you my 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 personal opinion. I I think you tend to lose more weight by what you eat and don't eat, you know, but mostly what you don't eat than you do by exercise. I think physical activity is important, but I don't think it's, um, I, I, I don't think if you, like say, ate a piece of cheesecake, that you're going to be able to work off that cheesecake in exercise. Uh, is it, is I mean? that the way we justify the cheesecake we had this morning? You had to go there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about uh, a lifestyle change and people are listening and say, well, she ain't cheesecake. She ain't serious. <laughs> Listen. I couldn't, and you know what? I, I don't know what it was this morning. I just couldn't resist. I saw the cheesecake in the display and I just. That's why it's in the display. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> just to so catch you it. So you said if it wasn't there, I wouldn't have wanted it. Yeah. You know what? I guess you you're something. right. I guess you're I, right. I have a weakness for cheesecake. You have a weakness for you know what? I be on you know what to be honest. I have not eaten cheesecake in what? In 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 about almost a year. Right. No, you know in what about I, th I, I think I think that um you know, I, I have a weakness for cheesecake, okay? Uh but I think because of that I avoid it. I don't think about it, I you know, because then you know I would have it all the time, which is not a good idea, uh -huh. you know. So I don't really think about it a whole lot. But you said to me this morning as we sat in the restaurant, you think we should have some of that cheesecake? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> you know, um. I just it's just not in me to say no to cheesecake. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah. if you would not have mentioned cheesecake, I wouldn't you have thought wouldn't about have, it either. Uh, oh, okay. But you mentioned it, and I'm not saying no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think when I was in my thirties, I um, no, in my latter twenties to my thirties. No, was it really in my thirties? I'm I'm not sure. I used to eat a lot of cheese danishes. You know, mm. I would have it. You know, I would have it in the morning, and um, and then I, you know, then I stopped eating it. You know, and then I would eat cheesecake from time to time, but you know what? I I, I really don't remember having cheesecake for more than a year now. You know, I really, I I really don't. Um, you know, I I really don't. Choose to um, eat it, you know, because it's it's really not good uh, for you. No, it's, it's great tasting. Cheesecake is 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 health food. Is what health food? Health food, you say? Yeah, cheesecake is health food. What does that mean? It's good for you. Cheesecake, you know, unclogs the brain. <laughs> it it does wonders, you know. And these are all lies that I tell myself when I eat cheesecake. Because, you know, I know I shouldn't have it, but it's, it's, it's just there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, people came here thinking we were going to talk about art, right? Uh -huh. We're talking everything and, and, so, and then some, right? Yeah. <laughs> Cheesecake is an important topic. Yeah, but there was, you know what, there was, there was a time that I, you know, was getting into oatmeal and, uh -huh. uh, and I do, I really do like oatmeal, and, yeah, so, yeah, so Gregor's want to know, did you take a picture? Of the cheesecake? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Gregors, what are you asking? Did we take a picture of the cheesecake? <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, people are so clever. They know how to market certain things to you. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to a restaurant and they have the... Uh, 
they have a, a the display of the cheesecake right out there for you, you know, because they know uh, <laughs> Gregor smiled. He said, your son, did you take a picture? Did I, t oh, did I take this picture? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, it, they even know, supermarkets even know how to market to kids. You know, you see at the register all the candy uh -huh. that that's um, near the register when you're uh, uh, checking your items to pay for them, you know. So the kids could say, Mommy, Daddy, can I have that? And not only that, you know what the big chain supermarkets, what they would do is they would have um, the tabloid. The rem I don't know if you remember. Yeah. You know, remember. some years back, the tabloids and the magazines. and uh, right, right by the cashier. Yeah, right by uh, the cashier's uh, register. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he... Because, you know what, after you did all that food shopping, you want to know that um, some some celebrity slept with an alien. <laughs> you know. Because that's what the tabloids used to be. Yeah, you know? and you know what, and it's sold. I, I, you know, I wasn't big, I wasn't big into the tabloids. I really wasn't. You know, uh -huh. Which tells you why peop there are people who believe in all these conspiracy theories, you know, because... Um, Hey, it's you know it, it's been around in one form or another. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So Gregor says, I thought so, when he asked about the picture. Oh, okay. He said, the Rembrandt Triangle, modest but noticeable. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about this area right here. Oh. Uh, where, um, it, it's actually called that way in photography as well, because uh, Rembrandt painted portraits that the lighting always included this triangle right here and you know depending on whether the light is coming from the left or right you would see the triangle you know oh okay from the direction of the light in the direction of the light from the, the direction of the light would make the triangle oh. shirt was right. I, I didn't realize that there was a shadow on his right hand mm. side and you were getting that shadow. Right. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Bigger brush. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if he took his keys. I mean, you know, you're doing a portrait of him right now. And I'm thinking, did he take his keys? I hope he did. Mm. Yeah. It's not like we're not home. Yeah, but, you know, you get into the habit of not taking it because you're expecting someone to be home. Mm -hmm. What happens if something uh, takes place, like uh, I'm late to, I'm, I'm late from coming home. Right, right. Then, you know, then you're outside when you don't have to be. Right. This paint is taking up a lot of space on my palette. Oh, so you have to... Uh, yeah, I have to clear this out a bit. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to mix anymore. Just pushing the water around, pushing the paint around with some water. Uh -huh. That helps me to mix it, or uh, not mix it, but blend it. Blend it. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was thinking, you know, I'm going to uh, call my mom, see what she did today. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it rained where she was. You know, it rained in New York, in New York City. I shouldn't say just New York, in New York City. Yeah. 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 We have pretty mild weather compared to other parts today anyway. Yeah, today was pretty mild, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had my um, heavy coat because uh, early in the week it was uh, kind of cold. And, uh, but today wasn't that cold. Mm -hmm. And so I had my coat on, but I, I didn't zip it up. been a very very cold December. When, no it hasn't been. Yeah. I, I would say December because winter's not over yet. 
Yeah. Well, anyway, we're in, what, middle of December, really? Yeah. You know what? Uh, it's It just it came so fast. Oh, what, December? Yeah, know? and it's going yeah. fast, too. Yeah, but you know what? I think, uh, when is it, around the 22nd? It's when winter starts. Oh, December 22nd? Yeah, about December, yeah, December 20-something. That's when winter really starts. Officially. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gregorius, <laughs> he said, today my mother baked the cheesecake <laughs> without cheese. I don't know what it tastes like. If you want to try it, please come to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, Greg was. But um, you know what? It, it's amazing that you said some. Uh, she um, cooked the cheesecake without the um, cream cheese. I think you're talking about because they're talking about um, the supply chain for um, cream cheese. It seems that uh, it's broken. Yeah, they. Uh, you said it's broken. It's broken. Well, I'm just joking, but yeah, uh -huh. they, they, there's no, uh, there's no, there's no cream cheese. Yeah, there, there seems to uh, be not be able. Yeah. There's a shortage. Yeah, a shortage of cream cheese to make the cheesecake. So. Um, so bad. Juniors had to change their recipe. Well, Juniors is a a chain. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm sure they're outside of the U.S., but um, it's a chain uh, I know that's in the U.S. that makes cheese. It's eggs. in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's yeah, it's in uh, their restaurant. I think started in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. uh, which is part of the city of New York. And uh, yeah, in the, uh, in New York City, there's five boroughs: uh, Brooklyn, Bronx. Queens, Staten Island, and Manhattan. Yeah. And uh, people call the Manhattan South Kent Did I offend you by it? <laughs> no, I'm just, you know, you got the, uh, you got the, uh, you know, video moving around all over here, jumping around. So, um, yeah, anyway, people call uh, Manhattan, they call the city Manhattan. Manhattan's known as the city. Uh huh. So. You know, people travel, they really come to see Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Because Manhattan, I mean, you have the Broadway plays, you have Fifth Avenue, which is a, a shop in Mecca, they have a um, Museum Mile. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh huh. You have that. That's along Fifth Avenue too, but that's just Upper, Upper mm -hmm. Manhattan, right? In the eighties. Yeah, that's yeah. where you have all those, uh, the Guggenheim, the Metropolitan Museum, uh, what else? Museum of Modern Art. You know, you have all those museums right there, um, yeah. along what they call Museum Mile. Right. Yeah, and um, what you got the um, the Empire State Building, the um, Statue of Liberty. Um, the Statue of Liberty is funny because I think um, uh, New Jersey has made claims to the Statue of Liberty. So, and I think uh, oh that well I I don't know if it's closer. From New Jersey to, to I, the I think Statue they won of Liberty. The, I, no, because the the rides to the Statue of Liberty actually you, you are in Manhattan. Yes. You know, but I think the thing is, uh, th there's there's a court case, and I think New Jersey actually won their case that they actually the uh, the Statue of Liberty is actually in their harbor. Oh. Well, it's, I don't know if that, you sure? Because you know what? It's called, It's only minutes away 
from um I mean when you take you, the you know South what? Ferry, it, it, it's, it's only right. minutes away. Of course, yeah, but so is New Jersey. And when you get that far in Manhattan, you're mm. right there by the Lincoln Tunnel. What's the other end of the Lincoln Tunnel? Jersey, okay. right? Okay. So it, it, it's you know, you get to that part of Manhattan, everything's kind of close together. You, the Jersey is real close to Manhattan. You know, you got a lot of things going on there. You got uh, Staten Island, Governor's Island. Let me tell you something. Tell me. Hey, hey. I mean, in my opinion, you know, I, I, I've I, been a New Yorker all my life. And at one point I realized, you know, I, ne I never went to the Statue of Liberty. Let me just go there. Wait a minute. When you were a kid, you didn't go no. to a, a school trip to the Statue of Liberty? Nope. I know, right? Every school kid goes to the Statue of Liberty at some point. Yeah. You know, That's I, when you really go on trips around the city. Yeah. I, when you're a kid. I don't know whether I was absent the day they went or whatever, but I didn't go. Right? Um, so, I said, let me go. So, um, I went to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> like, this is it? You go up? Really? <laughs> you weren't impressed? By what? You go up? You look around and you go back down the stairs. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but you get to see the, you know, you get to see the harbor. That's okay. <laughs> you know. That's okay. Yeah, I wish I had gone to. Uh, I think it's a, a museum now, Ellis Island. To me, that would seem to be more interesting. Well, but. you know what? They don't allow you to go inside the Statue of Liberty anymore. When you go. You um, are circling the statue, but you don't actually go because in Because of COVID? It. Uh, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really think that took place before COVID. It might have been remember, closed down for repairs. Uh, I, I, I don't know, Gil. I think um, mm -hmm. they just wouldn't allow people to go into the statue anymore. When I went. The only place you weren't allowed to go is in the, uh, what you might call it? The Crown? No, you were allowed to go to the Crown. You weren't allowed to go to the um, thing in the hand. Oh, uh, the torch? Yeah. You mm -hmm. weren't allowed to go there. No, I re remember the kids were, um, the kids were young. I, I took one of them. Um, I took one of them there, and uh, they... They did, wouldn't allow us to go inside the Statue of Liberty. They were young. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. It, it might have been because of repairs. Every now and then it needs, you know, just to make sure everybody's safe. Yeah, but I don't think they allow it anymore. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that that's a shame. Okay, how are we doing for time? Oh, okay, we're at 419. Is that the usual time we do, or is that we're going over? Well, um, about 420, we, um, sometimes we end it. And then, you know, when you feel very uh, good about something, <laughs> we go to 440. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> That's how it works. When you feel like it, it's it's fun, it's either fun or you see things and you just want to work on some of the corrections, and, you know.
Okay. Well, this must be one of those good ones then. Uh, one of those good daddies for you? Yeah. Oops, too light. Too, too light. Well, that's one thing that's good. You know what? Um, I never, when I was younger, I never used to drink water. I would drink a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, but I wouldn't drink water. And um, and um, and I, I, I wasn't a milk drinker. I would have milk for my cereal, but that's about it. Right. You know. And um, I when uh, I became pregnant with the boys, you know, I, I just enjoyed the taste of water, you know, and, um, and that's uh, still now, you know, I like the taste of water. I like cold water, 
you know, I can drink warm water, but I prefer cold water. So you're introducing some red, I see, in the face? So I actually see red mixed with blue. Okay. color but like I was saying the um, the ultramarine blue is actually a warm blue um, because it has some red in it and the in the way they, they uh, manufacture the paint uh -huh. it has red in it so um, it makes a nice um, mixture with the with with the red makes a nice purple when you add more red to it Okay, and I think I'm, I'm well, just about done with this. Just about.
Okay. Uh, let me see. One more thing. To get this real dark over here. You know, I got this thing really dark. I actually. You, you got what? This some areas really dark. I actually uh -huh. have zero black in this painting. What do you mean you have zero black? I didn't you use any black. You didn't? Mm -mm. The hair is not. Um, the hair is a mixture of. See right here, on uh -huh. my palette. That's ultramarine blue, uh -huh. and um and uh, burnt umber. Okay. Well, isn't the burnt umber black? No, burnt umber is a dark brown color. Oh. So I have zero black in this painting. So, okay. Uh, do I want to do anything else? I think I'm going to stop here. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll stop there. So that's it. I had fun doing this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the live stream. We will be back next Saturday. Um, Karen and I with a, another live stream. Um, Possibly in Guage. I, I think I'm enjoying this time of uh, working in Guage. Um, and I, again, let me remind you, there are lots of links below. Uh, links to uh, my Patreon page. Links to, you can follow me on Patreon. Um, there are also links to uh, other stuff, you know, uh, as far as my, my sketchbook, which I said is available online at, on Amazon or, or Gumroad. And um, also on Patreon, you know, there are different tiers. One of the tiers is also uh, a private art lesson, you know. Um, and uh, you, you just check the link out. You can see what the tiers are about, okay? Uh, in any event, we will be back next week, right? Yes, we will. Okay, so I see you guys till then. Okay, super. Okay.